Yo, so saving project history versioning is so easy on Flutterflow. It, it literally might be dummy proof. It literally might be. Say this is your project that you're in right now and it's perfect. You don't want to change anything. This is what you want to send to the app store. Let's go ahead and save it. You come up here to the top, to project history. Let's press save. Let's give it a name. Let's call it perfect version number one. Perfect V1. Press save. Now, let's say a couple hours later, we don't want this here anymore. Let's remove the user info. But before we actually do anything else, let's save it again, right? Let's go press save and let's call this one perfect uh, version two, uh, no user info. I'm literally typing with one hand, don't worry about that. Save, now let's say two hours later, we make the biggest mistake on planet earth and we just delete everything we don't know what to do we don't know what we pressed we don't know what button we clicked we don't know how to undo it don't worry about that literally go to your project history which is where we've been going the whole entire time and look for that name that you actually named it so perfect v2 no user info was when we took away the user info let's go back to that all you have to do is press restore press yes restore if you were working on anything in the meantime that's going to be gone because it's going to take us back to the version that you wanted to save boom just like that okay we got real life situation happening Let's go to restore, no user info, yes, restore, and there it is. Let's say I want to go back to that original version, though. Let's go back to perfect V1, restore that, press yes, restore, there it is. So this section in the middle came back. So as you can see, saving, viewing your project history, <laughs> real time mess up, right? And checking your versioning and making changes and jumping back between versions that you have saved is super easy on Flutterflow. Go download that. If you want more tips like this, go ahead and leave a like, subscribe to the channel, tap in, next time vote. You already know who it is. Why for it? Let's go. Hey.